All right, I can uh, Grogu sign back in, back on Cyberpunk 2077. Um, after finishing my last video, probably about three minutes ago, topped up my Pepsi, and we're ready to go again. Um, so I'm going to do another main mission. Not sure which one. We'll have a look, see what's there, um, and then uh, yeah, we'll just carry on doing some more side missions and that. So uh, yeah, we'll switch over to gameplay and. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, feel free to drop a comment down below, and if you want to see more of my videos, just uh, give me a sub, just make sure you actually ding the little bell so you actually get notified next time I do upload more content. And let's game on. Right, first things first, we'll go to journal, and right, so we've got, wait a day for Takamura's call, or we can call Mr. Hands. So, we'll start with that. Bring up the phone, Mr. Hands. Oh, actually, got some messages here. What's this one? No, thank you. <laughs> I'm not buying any cars until I finish the game. I, I just, I really wanted that bike. That's why, I, that's why I bought that one. Uh, message as well. So we got, we got Takamura. Uh, oh, Wakako. Uh, you don't think she'll betray us? You only have to look at a, a venomous spider wearing the mask. Whoa, that is a lot, man. Calm down. Wearing a mask of a nice old lady, but I will not be fooled. If it were not her disdain for Arasaka, she would have sold us out for a handful of pachinko balls. <laughs> but since she has not, that means she is, she is something more dangerous, an opportunist. Um, uh, maybe she simply wants to spear two rats on one stick and is waiting for the right moment. V, I am in Kabuki. I have two questions. How could anyone call this filthy slum Kabuki? Kabuki is an art form. It's a form of art, sorry. I will let you know shortly. Alright, let me know if I can be of help. I might, I might, well, I may take you up on an offer, but for now, I will manage alone. Your time will come. Okay, right. Uh, let's call Mr. Hands. V, what's shaking? <coughs> Make contact with the Voodoo Voice Chief if you can swing it. All right, all right. Straight to heavy business. Hmm. Now, that'd be Maman Brigitte. Be tough getting a word into her. Huh. I was led to believe you could arrange anything. Ah. Now that sounded like my third wife every time she wanted a new purse. Maman Brigitte. And that sounds like a spooky cult alias. Have not had the pleasure of asking her personally. But it is what everybody calls her. Doubt the title has any real religious weight though. Buddha boys play pretty fast and loose with their Haitian heritage. You really don't do any biz with them? Not with the chefs, chefins, priests, and whatnot. All got dirigible sized egos, won't talk to lowly me. But if you insist, I can ask around, try to set something up. I'll just need some details first. Sorry, it's personal. Well, that's fucking helpful. And the water surrounding it. Got something they want. Truly? Want to sell something to the BDBs? Trust me, they don't want it, they don't need it. They're isolated, insulated, they got their own contracts, tech, networks. But, have it your way. Okay, I'll see what I can do and get back to you. Right, I'm not sure. Why have we seen the Voodoo Boys? The suit of the leader took out. I'm going to wait for him to call back. Uh, Alright, guess who? So, next race is practically in the backyard, which means I need to make sure folks around here know I walk my tour. Uh, meet me in the corner, Brandon and Wilson. Give me a call when you get there. It's not a main mission, but both the main missions are quite at the moment. I need to wait for them both. I'm 
I'll skip the different style. Gives me the opportunity to actually level up my character. <coughs> 2.6. It's rideable. I think anything over th anything over four I probably fast travel. Okay, back into the city. I think after this one, there's one more race, which is the finals. Why is this camera not switching out? I guess I'm turning left here. Yep. Always tells you last second. Why can I not change my camera? I'm not sure why my camera's not changing. Uh, so I swear that's like the first time I've seen a hover car like close to the ground. Let's take, uh, where is it? Wait, no, it's that one. It looked like it was that bit there. Ah, there we go. The information from Okada, sir. Very valuable. I also learned something through my own efforts. We must meet. Where will it be this time? Trash processing plant? Deserted end cart station? <laughs> In the south of Japan town, there is a street market. It is on the footbridge above the main street. Use the elevators. It is easy to get lost. Okay. I am on my way there. Do not make me Ooh. wait. Okay. Right, I won't make you wait because that is the main mission like I wanted to start with. Let's go do it. We can help Claire later. Yeah, Claire's truck is like. Too bad in first person, actually, to be fair. Alright, one click away. They really do need to sort that minimap thing so it zooms out while you're driving. I'm not sure where my next turn is. <laughs> See? Missed it. Like I say, you can't see it, but if, you, if you're playing this game at the moment, or you've played it, you, you'll, you know what I'm on about. How the minimap just doesn't zoom out whatsoever. It's one of the most irritating things about driving in this game. But it's probably the only irritating thing, because the driving itself is actually pretty good. something for me well it's like I said whatever you're peddling the VTBS are just not in the market but they have another task that needs doing so I volunteered you do it well and you'll get your audience with your sheet on a breaking story what's a this task needs doing what? you're gonna go picky on me now <laughs> the con 
contact, they'll fill you in on the deets. Why is it with his face? Actually, got the impression I'd have to pay for every word out of his mouth. Okay, so who do I talk to and how? Hit the chapel on slow. Look for the altar inside. Someone will touch you, nod to you. Something spooky. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> All right. Let's here. I do not understand. Does Arasaka not have enough of its own people? Look around, sir. Things are heating up in the city. Zoots know one sparks all it takes in Japan town to go up in flames. Riots are always best put down by folks not speaking <coughs> your brand name. Ah, you are here. <laughs> yeah. Why? What are we doing here? You shall learn soon. I acquired some information of my own. Do you know who most wish to honor Arasaka-sama with the parade? His murderer. The irony makes me sick. What's in it for Yorinobu? Doesn't seem like the kind who care to honor tradition. That is so. Japanese heritage is one element. Yorinobu will also put on a display of power. The floats are sure to be beautiful. But the wise and I will see in them a hidden message to his foes. What message would that be? I am here, Gumindomo. Watch your backs. <laughs> Not one for subtlety, is he? Still don't see how this gets us anywhere. I have had an idea. Look to the sky. The dash floats will pass precisely this way. If I could just get onto Hanako-sama's float, I could speak with her in private. Okay. Get there how? Why jump? I don't know. That's the only thing I could think of just jumping down. Expectations way too high, Goro. Couldn't pull that off even if you still had your fancy implants. I have thought of a solution. While you are occupied with your shady dealings, I learned more about the floats. Okay. They are all kept in one place. Arasaka Industrial Park. It is there that they prepare them. We need only to break into the compound, find the right float, and inject a virus into its system. Okay. You will then be able to disable any security before I sneak inside. Why well, can't I pick that one? There's no time to waste. Lots of ways to skin this particular cat, you know. Gonna need I know what you need. It is taking care of you. I have an infected shard. <laughs> it was not cheap, but the man who sold it to me guaranteed it will work. I think that other option was obviously it was, it was too low, so there was no point in me picking it. Where'd you get this shard? Across the canal. Kabuki? <laughs> I'd actually be half decent soft then. And if it isn't, got a few tricks up my sleeve too. This is good to know. Let us move on. Yeah. <coughs> Hello! You messed with my vision a bit, that dude. To take control of the float is one thing, but not all. The security concerns me, the snipers especially. I will be an idiot. Not the nest, not the net runners. But I may have an answer. Okada-san mentioned the city cameras. If we gain access to them, we will see exactly where the snipers are. You can deal with them as I advance. <laughs> Why is the dirty work my job? I think I see where this is going. Got me doing all the dirty work. Do you wish to trade places? What exactly would you say to her? Hello, my name is V. Hanako-sama knows me. Only I Fair can... enough. It's true. And now, what would you say to a small test? We must try the shard. The camera control room is in front of us. 
You must get inside and infect the network. That is all. Uh-huh. And in the meantime, you'll do what? Crack open a can of suds? Hmm. <laughs> I will not touch alcohol. At work. I will watch your back. Now, get to it. Alright, let's test it. Force open, really. Judy. Sorry, we gotta run and see you. Okay. Right. Did he honestly just want me to just rip this? Okay, I'm gonna rip it open. <laughs> right, let's drop down. Wait, is there anyone in here? I don't think there's anyone here, you know. No one on my mini map, anyway. Install software. Fucking worked. That was it. Oh. I thought I'd have to like do something. Like a little puzzle or something. Makes my job easier. And done. System's ours. <coughs> Good. The easy work we have done. To break into Arasaka Industrial Park will not be such a bed of roses. But before we discuss that... Sit. I, I have not eaten since <laughs> yesterday. Eaten. Give me the best on the menu. I highly recommend the yakitori today. Anything that isn't local, please. See you tomorrow. Can't believe I'm saying this, but this Saka scum might actually prove useful. He's a well-trained dog, needs orders, that's all. And when he outlives his purpose, we'll flat by him. Really? Chill, Johnny. Some <coughs> scum to you, I know that. But Garo's not a bad guy. Not a bad guy. He was Saburo fucking Arasaka's bodyguard. Think his pretty eyes landed in that gig? What is this? Hey, Yakitori. I have laid the plan. One, we break into Arasaka Industrial Park. One and a half, we hack Hanako-sama's float. Two, during the parade, with my help, you eliminate any snipers. Three, I get onto the float. Four, I convince Hanako-sama of the truth. We got five. Oda zeroes us and pisses on our corpses. <laughs> we'll never be less than a foot away from Hanako. Oda would not dare raise his hand against me. What about me? That different is a story. different matter. <laughs> I would advise you to watch your distance. Fair news. We'll stick with that. Well, sounds like a suicide run, but done dumber shit than this, so... Things are even more stupid than stealing from Arasaka. <laughs> None dumber yet, no. Set the bar pretty high with that one. Oh, yeah. Now, we part. Reconnaissance is required. Got enough on my plate as it is. I'll let you handle that. 
So I shall. See you, Johnny. Cook! Louder! Louder! I have decided to you double the amount of our active Night City security forces. President Myers has he called this a breach the in the Army Accord. And the complete power. At the NUSA they surrendered it to him. Tell me that. What do we call the murder of my father? Was that not a provocation? Was that not a... Arasaka, an empire built to last. Before Yorinobu set fire to it from the inside. <laughs> All of this began with him. <clears throat> the factions, power struggles. All of this. Ksa. We had two in one bite then. Where's Yorinobu's rebellious streak come from? No one knows. Perhaps soon I shall ask him in person. Got factions inside Arasaka? What are they? There are three Kiji, Hato, and Taka. Kiji longs for stability. The old order. They are united behind Hanako sama. The liberal wing, Hato. Support Michiko sama, Saburo's granddaughter. I know little about her. And then there is Taka, treacherous dogs who support Yorinobu. <laughs> Not to mention even smaller factions. Well, tell me about them some other time. Why'd Saburo tolerate it all? Can't get my head around it. Could get the sun on a short leash. Arasaka sama was a strong and disciplined man. The strongest man I have ever known. And yet, at the critical moment, mm, he yeah. showed a weakness. <coughs> For Yorinobu. For his daughter. Mm. When Yorinobu formed his band of hounds, declared war on his own family, arasaka -sama could have crushed him with one word. Yet he did not. For he did not wish his daughter to suffer. When Yorinobu returned, his tail between his legs, she persuaded her father to give him uh, a second chance. Okay. Do you understand? Hanako-sama saved Yorinobu from the consequences of his deeds. Let's have that last bite. Think she's complicit in Saburo's murder? I think we are all to blame. We allowed ourselves to be tricked. But we will correct this soon. Time for some reconnaissance. Wait for my call. Alright, let's go. Let's finish those lap. I think it's ah, one last it. race or two races. I'm not sure. I can't remember. change it. No, still can't change it from the first person. I don't get why it's doing this. Let's, uh, let's quickly sort out this mess down here. Let's breach protocol first. Uh, BD-55. Right, 
do this. In fact, oh yeah, my new sniper. See how much it cost. Oh well. Sixty four armor. Sixty nine armor. Can't see it anyway. All right, so. can actually get rid of these to be honest. I'll dismantle that. Dismantle that. Dismantle that. Dismantle. Are these worth any more? I think I might make it like fifth like around fifty quid. If it's around fifty we'll uh, sell it. So dismantle all these. See what needs uh, dismantling from here. Uh, how much is that? We'll dismantle that. Dismantle that. Anything and we'll make it around 200. Is there anything I want to keep in here? Nah. So that's over 200. We'll sell that. Dismantle that. Dismantle. Gone. Oop, no. Sell that. Can sell that. Dismantle. That one was questionable. One nine nine. Ideas. Right. Sorted. Right, let's head to the race. My bike is here. Let's go. I definitely prefer it more if I was actually in third person right now. What's this? Wide open roads, sand, dirt, sand, mountains. It ain't much, but it's still one of the most beautiful things I've seen in my life. Thank you. Uh, if you ever need anything, you know where to find us. Thank you. Appreciate it. Alright. Just over one and a half. Come on. 
characters. This map needs to sort itself out. What's it doing? Oh, what's going on here? Right, I need to stop. There we go. It, it wasn't shown the route. <laughs> I could only see the, the waypoint on the screen. Nearly. Oh, don't, don't do that frame skipping while I'm driving this thing. Yeah, we've got another one here. Whoa. That was a pretty big pop in. Powerful through the water, something. Okay. Whoa! Hey, bro, man. I was obviously already stood there as well. Salute the shit out of them. Where's the evidence? A way to get all of them in one go. You know, I'm just, I'm just gonna random it. Fifty-five, E nine, 
BD, BD. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I think, because I've done it before where I've got all of them in one go. Alright, let's head to this race. That sniper is so powerful. Ablating it wouldn't be powerful enough to take them out with just the uh, fusion rifle. No more of them blue markers, we'll just go straight to the race. Might do one more main mission. Let's go. Oh, whoa, whoa. Wait. Ah, oh, I forgot to say. I feel like I've been riding this for ages when it's just it's just round this corner. Right, there we go. Alright, let's give her a call. What's this? Wait, Cassidy. Uh see you Pan Panama getting along finer than a frog's hair split three ways. <laughs> Um, here's hoping things work out for y'all. Because uh, if they don't, and it's your fault, we'll drag you to the nearest tree and hang you by your cherries. Uh, pending a fair trial, of course. I'll do well to remember that. Who's the other message? Takamura. <laughs> Send me a selfie. I'm commencing my reconnaissance. Selfies are Rick Cat. <laughs> Selfies count as recon now. Damn, I must have pressed something by accident. <laughs> These burners do not have a traditional interface. One moment. There we go. Oh, he had it the wrong way around. <laughs> See Arasaka Industry Park. I will notify you when I'm finished. I love that. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, we need to call Claire. Um... Claire. Hey, ready for the next race? Already here. Ready and waiting. You want to use your own ride or? I bring a beast. I bring the beast. Beast. It's time to unleash you. Can't keep a spit shined animal like that caged up in your garage. Well said. Meet there, yeah. Rancho. Be right there. See you then. Alright, sit on this filthy couch. Wait. Start, see if all's okay. But stay close. Not worry this will get you killed. What, today? The race? Why? I'm not asking about just today. It could be though. Or the next one. One after that. She and mine got shocked and killed by a faulty toaster in her own kitchen. <laughs> so you know, it is what it is. Can you her Alice around? This race is giving me all the wrong vibes. Why is that? You got 6th Street, the mocks. Gangs are well repped. It's a matter of when a temper goes nuclear. It'll be fine, don't worry. Sorry, you need a minute to kick the tires before we get moving. Sure. <laughs> kick the tires. What the? I like full cyborg skin. Yep, looks like it is. I'm gonna have to reset this. Oh well, 
Let's experience it this way, to be fair. One up front. See him? Luigi, after him! I'm in front. <laughs> Big turn coming. Cut it sharp. Yeah, I think this race ends on like this like high up nice view of the city or something. And that's when you yeah, she tells you something about herself. <laughs> You'll find out. That's when that's that's when uh, yeah the story kinda gets interesting. This is what I was saying when you get a choice. Um the other day, you actually do get a choice. Gosh. Oh, great. Back. They're moving the path. Look at right on fourteen. Focus, Dad. wasn't that hard in first person to be honest. It's a bit easier in third but... We can win this beat. Yeah, just take out that car. to the news during this race. An unwelcome one for pet owners. The canine ownership tax will increase to 1,000 euro dollars per dog per month. Similarly, the fine for possessing an undocumented animal will increase to 30,000 euro dollars. Jesus. Thank you for tuning in to the N54 local news. Have a pleasant day. Alright, last checkpoint. Stop yet, okay? Move up a bit further. What for? You need to talk. Something you should know. Okay. Sit down for a spell over there. Yeah, this is that view. <clears throat> Can't really take any good photo in many shots up here that I tried. It's not. Everything seems a bit too far away, to be honest. Wow. Quite the view. Yeah. Me and Dean, we like to come here. Wanted to tell me something? I mentioned Dean before. My husband, yeah. Wheel to your heat, right? 
Sweetest man I ever knew. We were friends before my gender transition. We brought daffodils to the hospital. It's a new beginnings, he said. Were you married long? Twelve years. Dean used to laugh that for our 15th, said he'd finally talk me into my first implant. I was prepping some surprise. Hey, you mind if I ask why you don't sport any chrome? I love machines, V, I do. But I don't ever want to become one. Is that weird? A little, I guess. But it's fine. Dean. Only person who could have convinced me to chrome up. But guess we'll never know if he'd have managed, huh? Why tell me about Dean? I mean, and why now? He died during a race last year. The final. Not your standard fatality, though. This have something to do with our race? Sort of. Thing is, Dean was murdered. He was flatlined by a corporal eagle weasel, Peter Sampson. Exceptional walking rot. <laughs> Husband, how'd he die exactly? We'd just powered into the final straight, Samson peeling up the tarmac ahead of us. It was clear we couldn't win, so Dean let up on the chew. And then that snake slammed on the brakes. Dean also had to. We lost control. Yeah, but isn't that how this race works? You don't get it. Road was clear to the finish line. He would have won. It was premeditated. Your husband. How did he die huh? exactly? We just was clear. And then that's. Didn't mean to do that. You don't get it. What's the corpo's deal? Doesn't really matter. It was only ever another adversary to me. But to Dean. Dean and Samson had a history going way back. <laughs> Happened between them? Dean never admitted anything, but yeah. Yeah, there was some kind of strife. Something personal to their rally rivalry. When Samson came first, Dean got hot and bothered. You 100% sure the killing was deliberate? Not your emotions talking now. No. Saw them argue to the crack of the starting gun. Kill that bastard. During the race? Folks die on the track all the time. Won't seem unusual at all. Another day at the races. In line with the rules. And if Samson doesn't show for the race, Might take a different then? route on this one to my other playthrough. Never miss a chance to puff out his chest. He'll race. Circuit champ last year. No way he'll let that go. Not try to repeat. And me? Guess you want my help to zero him. Killing Samson matters more than taking first. We have to make a choice. Sorry I lied to you, V. Want no part in this, Claire. I'm out. Sorry. That's it? You're gonna walk? You sure about that? Fine, I'll drive. With winning as my sole objective. If Samson dies by the rules <coughs> of the game, all right. But I won't help you execute the guy. Can't count on that. That's fair. I can agree to that. It's all I can promise. Trust me. Revenge don't soothe your soul. It just makes you a killer. That's all. Not the way I see it. But fine. Till the final V. Yeah, so I went ahead and killed Samson. Um, obviously, I'm not gonna not do the last race, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna go for the win on this one. Where's my bike? Journal, let's have a look, let's see what we got here. I've got anything in gigs. Uh, hi. Uh, 
else is paid in full. Can't do that yet. The Ballad of Buck Ravers. Yeah, let's see what this one is. I'm gonna wait for Claire's next mission anyway. <coughs> How far is it? 3.4. We'll ride it. Still can't switch this camera. No idea why. I honestly fucking love this bike. Yeah, I, I could never understand how this was. Uh, I could drive wherever you wanted in this game, but now I'm playing, I can see how. Like, you know, everything looked so tight before I actually played the game, like the streets and everything. But I mean they are, but they, they like the more you practice driving, the more they, the road seems to open up a bit and feel a bit less tight. Like you have more control over your vehicles than you realise. I don't think I've done this mission yet on, a, on my other playthrough. There's probably a new one. Oh, Panna. Want to answer then? Why didn't that? Chief, do you have a moment? Oh, there we go. Dog? I mean no longer moment. Can you come by the camp? I have a problem. <coughs> you were calling me? I thought you rejoined the family. Well, I, yes, I did. But I thought... I suppose that means you're not willing to come. Am I right? On my way. Phew. Thanks. That's good to hear. Give me a little more intel. What's your grief? Well, it uh, would be better Let to... me guess. Right. Tell me well. <laughs> uh huh. See you soon. Alright, we'll do this and then we'll go. The help. The little help for my friends. Yeah, we'll do that after this one. So I'm, I'm curious to see what this is. Here, I'm guessing. Whoops. There we go. I think another reason why I like bikes so much is because bikes just you, like like I was just saying about the tight streets, you can actually get around them a bit easier as well. You just fit through little gaps like that. <laughs> first. turned your great spot into a slurp shop. <laughs> Mindless fucking consumerism wins the day again. Point for the other team, huh? Huh. This is why they don't bring back fallen warriors. Sooner or later, they're gonna see everything they fought for is turned to shit. Uh, hey, um, 
Rainbow Cadenza mean anything to you? Oh no, another one. Aren't you too young for this? To what now? Every day, some sad grandpa in his old leather comes in here, asks where is his old rainbow club. And I'm like a broken record. Tell all of them the court brought them out 20 years ago. The Crystal Palace. I should. Alive in the dead of space. Know anything about any bootlegs from the Rainbow Condenser days? Like, say, I don't know, uh, samurai stuff? You're not like really samurai. present. Oh, that ugly red face on black? <laughs> yeah, even I know that one. I wonder if this is how you get the jacket, the samurai Old guy jacket. comes by here sometimes wearing their shirt. Spends the whole time yakking with his psycho fan friends. Wouldn't happen to know where I could find him. You can find him living back in the 2020s. <laughs> but besides that, he's out there at the market. Okay. You're not selling. Really Organic strawberries and cream. What do you think? He sells ancient dusty tapes of ancient dusty Indian. <laughs> no one's heard of a single one of them. Green. Thanks. Alright. Find a vendor selling tapes. There we go. Hey, I'm looking for some good tunes. <clears throat> Got any laser pop? Something from us cracks? Don't sell no scop here. You either want good music or rainbow bright shite. Chill, chum. It's just a joke. <laughs> laser pop. Fucking laser pop. Here <laughs> am I stand. It's all samurai though. I heard I can get some decent tunes here. What you mean by decent? We got Cartesian Duelist, Urdine stuff, Tainted Overlord. Any samurai? <laughs> Kid, you even gotta ask? <laughs> Never fade away. Dancing with my axe. Chipping in, you name it, we got it. Silverhand was the one true messiah of rock. I'd hand them records out like candy if I could. But a guy's gotta eat. I see I found Silverhand's biggest fan. And proud of it. Today's bitty box rockers can't even touch him. Silverhand had something they couldn't eat. Uh, a silver hand. <laughs> he had that fire. Fire! Guy shook the foundations of the corporal world. He died for his ideals. Doesn't matter, he was also kind of a terrorist. Blaze way down the rebel path. I'm looking for the real deal. Like, say, <clears throat> bootlegs from Samurai's first gigs. Fuck! First, you have got no idea what you're asking. <laughs> Not if you're so, so chilled about it. Don't know how you found out about them bootlegs, but forget it. Not gonna give them to the first oh, so he's got on the street. Hey, I ain't a poser. I know everything there is to know about Silverhand. <laughs> Impress me. I know what he told Carrie the last time they met. Called him a pussy. Told him to stop being one. Yeah, sure. I could think up a million conversations they had. There were no witnesses. I used to uh, come here back when it was still Rainbow Cadenza. Bootleg sure would make a nice souvenir of the good old days. Cut the scop. You're too young to remember the first samurai gigs. Weren't even a twinkle in your daddy's kuroshis. <laughs> hey, appearances can be deceiving. How do you know this pretty face ain't an implant? All right. True. How'd Samurai's third ever gig end? Hey Johnny, get your digital ass out here. Feed me my line. <laughs> How about this? Fuck you, V. Ain't your stupid side. I thought you wanted these things. Well, can't wait all day. Johnny, please, can you stop making my life harder? My life that's quickly running out. <laughs> How am I supposed to give a witty response to that pathetic question? It's like kicking a puppy. A blind puppy. 
you always freeze up like this? We had our third gig at Cadenza. <coughs> fire broke out. Some drunk gonks tried to put it out with beer. Denny's fro got singed. Wore a wig for a few weeks. Never did get herself any tech hair. Hmm. Hang on, hang on. Now I remember. There was a fire. Ah, poor Denny. Poor Denny's hair. <laughs> I almost forgot. Heard Johnny started it, actually. Tossed a sig that was still glowing. <laughs> Bullshit. That sig was Carrie's, no doubt. <laughs> but hey, any trouble is Johnny's fault. Still don't believe you were there. But what the hell? Only a real fan can know something like that. Hey, anyways. Gotta educate the youth. Maybe you'll find something special under the table. Huh? Huh? Have at it. Under the t oh. Yes. Alright, so that's the record there. Buy that. Whoa. Jesus. That's expensive. How much money do I have? Not a lot. I'll buy them. Let's do a sec. Junk, junk, junk. Alright, I don't think. <laughs> I can't buy anything else. I want to buy this jacket. Should we do it? I've got nothing to spend the money on. And then we'll sell this one. Um, is there anything else that's worth quite a bit? We'll leave all that. Appreciate it. Take it. Oh, it's shiny. I didn't. I didn't realize that uh, top I put on was shiny. Right, let's put this jacket on. It's got mud slots as well, which is perfect. Nice. Got an uh, armadillo. No. Stick that on, and we'll leave that one open for an armadillo slot. Right, so I've got some new trousers to put on. Stick them on. Nice. Uh, oh, look at the back. That is sick. I like that. He's got much slower. Yeah? Might as well put movement speed on there. It makes sense. It's trousers. Uh, do we have any boots that look better? They're exactly the same. Alright, that'll do for now, I guess. Sand. Spread the good silver hand. You know, they say time is the best teacher. Used to think that was true. But look at that guy. 60 at least, but still living in 2020. Guy's your biggest fan. You're not happy to meet him? Busaka Tower to smithereens, and it's still standing there. Just the same. <laughs> Don't want people getting stuck in a rut. Stuck in the past. Want them to change. Them and the world. It's been 60 years. Something must have changed. No, it changed. The damn facade. Fresh interface plugs, new high fructose scop syrup, and fun fruity flavors. A new face of Arasaka. Same old shit. Different <laughs> packaging. Well, something's changed. Maybe we can't see it, but it's change all the same. Sure. Now almost nobody remembers when a person wasn't just a meat bag full of secondhand implants. All right, nice one. 
Okay. Let's have a look at this jacket. So sick. Stick a pose on. I might I might take a picture with um put this outfit in a bit. Right, let's go to uh where's Pan Am's mission? There we go. I think it's how far is it? 4.3. Might as well fast travel it. That's a fast travel point here. Whoa, move out of the way, man. Jesus. It's just like watchdogs, people jumping in front of you there. Right. Uh, it is. There we go. Fast travel. Purely because it's it's gone two in the morning. I'm knackered. I just want to get <laughs> I'll get this mission done and then go to sleep. Catch some wings. Here in camp. I want patrols every half hour, reporting directly to me. <clears throat> Are we preparing? Hey, you're here. God, what this thing's amazing here. I forbade you from even breathing on that Militech convoy, so you call in your friend to do it all behind my back? Is that it? Uh huh. That's exactly why I had V come and stand right in front of you. Do you think I'm not? You really think you can forbid Pan Am from doing anything? <laughs> Trust me, no point. She'll do whatever she wants. No, she won't. Not if she plans to stay in this family. Damn it to hell, Saul. Are you seriously considering letting that basilisk slip through our fingers? I am. But a chance like this. A chance at what? Rotting up the job we came here to do? Get the sense this fight's grown stale. Come on, put some feeling into it. <laughs> no, this discussion ended long ago. The Biotechnica people will be here in an hour. Try not to cock anything else up before then. I can't believe it. Look, there he goes, off to paint the grass green. I thought the Biotechnica contract had withered and died. Saul insists we see it through to the end. To prove the Aldecaldos keep their word. Crop protection? Who gives a damn about crop protection? All Saul is going to prove is that a corp can walk all over us. And we'll say thank you and ask for more. What's this basilisk nonsense? It's an armored Militech cargo panzer junk from back in 2060 or so. They want to pedal it off to a backwards country, somewhere it can still pass as a technological wonder. The Militech convoy will take the 101 right past us. Shame not to say hello. Let me guess. Whole thing's your idea. <laughs> How did you know? Saul wouldn't be quite so pissed if it weren't. I believe V is right. If this had been Saul's idea, he would have seen it as the greatest plan on God's green earth. Bull. Saul isn't that petty. He's simply a coward. He would rather play it safe, bide his time for the family. Is this basilisk worth another fight with Saul? Yes. A craft like that would finally put us back on the right path. The family is falling apart. If we fall into this biotechnica rut, no one will ever take us seriously again. Okay, so you do want to go behind Saul's back and drag me here specifically for that. <laughs> Cassidy, Ted, Carol, and Bob. Also on board. Nice. There's quite a few people. Uh, let's get the uh, let's get the upgrade for that one. Uh, cool. Remember a while back, told me to give you a solid kick in the pants if I saw you diving in the stupid pool again. I do. Yet that was before our tandem raid on the Raffin camp. I believe you lost your opportunity there. Nope. <laughs> different that. Rescue mission. Someone from the family. Now, you're out to plain trick him. If you plan to lecture me, you can damn well go right now. Why Saul got his briefs in a bunch over this basilisk? He's afraid Militech will destroy us if we pick a fight with it. He thinks it's safer to stick with the corporations. Like Biotechnica. <laughs> what a joke. You guys would rather... We would rather go back to plying the trade we know best. Logistics. Meaning smuggling. That's what I said. <laughs> Thought you and Saul agreed to bury your carbines. So did I. 
But it seems that's only true when somebody is trying to kill us. Mm. Exactly. You saved his life. You want to fuck things up all over again now? I saved his life, yet somehow he still ignores everything I say. So I do believe we have come full circle. And you plan to grab the Basilisk how? Thanks, V. Haven't said I'd help just yet. Okay, <laughs> let's go talk to the rest. Oh, <laughs> uh, fucking hell. Right, let's pinch all this stuff down here. Ashtray. Stress ball. <laughs> Important stuff. So, just the four vets on board with the plan. Nobody else? We didn't bother asking the others. There was too great a risk someone would take it to Saul. Mm. Besides, only the vets understand what we have to gain by having a basilisk. Sounds pretty risky to me. On the contrary, easy as pie. There won't even be much security on the convoy. Plus, we'll be doing our part towards furthering the cause of world peace. Why should this beast wind up being used for some little third world skirmish? Fair enough, yeah. We'll I get make that. better use of it right here in America. <laughs> You try to get Saul on board again. No luck, huh? No. Okay, everyone listen. Militech will transport the basilisk in parts distributed across two trucks. Wait, do I sense a quiver in your voice? Fuck you! The convoy will halt at the railroad crossing on the 101. We'll attack from behind, then get the hell out and away. Questions? Comments? Motions? Nice job, sunshine. Yeah, got another upgrade here. Is uh, 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 this one? Mm-hmm. Damn short. It's all too easy, convenient to arrange. The exact heck you need. Coming your way, almost served on a silver platter. Yes, Saul also claimed it stinks the high heaven. Intel on the convoy. Where'd you get it? Carol hacked the Militech comms channel. Is that enough for you? Hmm. Yeah, but. That could still be set up that easy. Pan Am's got a beef with Saul, I know. But you guys. A few years back, nobody would have given Corporal work a second thought. We want a good name. We just need good gear and good jobs. And Saul would see that if he pulled his head out of his caboose once in a while. <laughs> All right, let's do okay, it. I'm in. <coughs> okay, thanks. First, we'll ride to the station. The train engine we need to block the convoy's way is there. Are you riding with us, or will we meet you there? I'll go with you. Riding with you. Excellent. Let's get going. Oh, attack. V, my reconnaissance is complete. Nice. I think I heard a little shake in that voice. voice. Everything you did not. is ready. Uh, I am on. sending did you your hands. Join me as quickly as you can. Sad. But, are you sure you didn't leave any tracks? Militech won't notice a thing. Are you trying to insult me, Bobby? Okay, okay. Forget I even asked. Oh, the trousers. So sick. Can't wait to use photo mode in a bit. I'll do it after I finish this video, though. I won't mess around in it while I'm there. Let's go. While I'm recording. Nobody's gonna notice you gone back at camp? Saul has no wish to see us there anyway. The better to make a good second impression on the biotechnica suits. Your sour faces wouldn't help much. Indeed they would not. Why has a voice gone that? This is like the second time this has happened now. The Raffins, what about them? You expecting any trouble? Saul is. He's posted sentries all around the camp. How's that not right? He's wrong in continuing to fight the symptoms rather than the disease. You don't miss life in Night City? Not times, perhaps. <clears throat> I miss the feeling of having a new beginning. Of freedom. But I also haven't forgotten the emptiness. The feeling of realizing it means nothing if you're alone. Yeah. Took adjustment on my part, too. Though, uh... Never was completely alone. You had someone? True friend, Jackie by name. You would have liked him, actually. <laughs> Jackie, I remember that. Did 
this it? Nope. Oh yeah, looks like it. We have arrived. Nice. Big bastard. If you like it so much, maybe we should just hijack the train. Let the basilisk go on its way. Yeah, then just drive this beast to the 101. There and back. Saul would be on board with that. Are we ready? Okay. The Militech convoy will be traveling from Night City to the base where they're due to meet the buyer. We will stop it at the railroad crossing. All we have to do is shove this beauty in its way. V, any questions? Plan to move this thing how exactly? It's old tech. Carol will have to hack it. Then I'll somehow have to finagle authorization from the control tower to move it. The tower looks inactive to me, too. Yeah, we'll see to that. You and Pan Am just get the authorization code. Okay, let's get to work. Not sure why it's showing me the mission with uh, Takamura. Let me just stay um, in this journal. Talk with nomads, optional. Let's do that. Can I do that? Any of this goes south, you know Pan Am will be the one to pay. <coughs> do you see us hanging her out to dry? Do you see Saul letting us off the hook while Pan Am takes the fall for everything? <laughs> Look at his leg. Like Ted. He thinks he cares about Pan Am more than the girl's own family. You didn't take her side last time when she left the clan. Why? Because last time, Pan Am was acting a damn fool. You think she learned something? She's smarter? Yes, she left. Learned a few things. Managed on her own. I knew when to come back. People like that are worth a lot more than those who plant their asses in one spot and do as they're told. All right. Well, hello there. Have you come to make yourself useful? Of course. I've never seen old tech like this. You know your way around it. How'd you learn? From books. Just wait till you see what's inside the signal tower. They use punch cards. Punch cards! <laughs> Can you believe it? What kind of... An old data storage method. When the net collapsed, we were thrown back to the 20th century. What's it even look like? They're cardboard cards with holes punched in them. As code in columns. Each hole position, punched or not, represents a unit of data. Honestly, I prefer Pan Am to punch cards as a topic of conversation. <laughs> Let me guess. You don't really know why you're here, do you? Pan Am asked me for help. Mm-hmm. She came back to the fold, sweet-talked Mitch and the rest over to her side. But still, she calls you. Interesting, isn't it? I get these little Even if we pull it off, Saul will be pissed. I can see his face already. Remember when we first met? You almost had a pound in your pants at the thought of falling foul Saul. Hmm. I don't recall leaving Pan Am high and dry, though. Now you're gonna stick it to him plain? Did something change? Uh-huh. I realize Pan Am is right. How's it going over here? Fantastic. We have everything hooked up and nothing works uh, it works no not reliably v could you scan it because i am not open to the prospect of taking it all apart again <laughs> capacitors damaged third from the right hmm indeed hold on let me swap it out time to try it again <laughs> hey 
It works. Thanks, V. There we go. That's the little side bits done. All right, let's get inside. Need a hand? Of course. But in your shoes, I would look for another way in first. into the place that I need them. Right, now... Um, where can I go from here? Wait, what was that? What? What the heck? Fifty five. Let me do Wait, hold on. Fifty five. Fifty five. There we go. Top and bottom. Not entirely sure why it was like that. Oh, well, that's not weighing, obviously, for some reason. Um, here we go. Yes. How did you weasel your way in there? And here I opened the damned door. Be right there. Where is she? Sounds like she's up here. Uh, junctions. Yes, those. When you see them from above, you feel free. free. Like you could set off in a thousand journeys all at once. Perhaps more simply, hopeful. Oh, I need to go down. Okay, here we are. Cards punched with a bunch of holes. Let me help look. Okay, thank you. Nada. Uh, there's no point in scanning. They're not going to show up on scanners, are they? Here we go. Nothing here. Oh. Hmm. oh, there we go. Nice. Well, well, well. Please. Got something. Good job. Carol! We have a card! What now? Let us put it in the reader! Well, V? The card. In the reader? Yep. <sighs> Here goes nothing. Speak with 
Let's push this a bit. Missed you. Missed you. Pretty bad. Oh, well, this means... <laughs> oh, wait, just, just wait. This is not how we usually talk. Nope. Uh... Not what you wanted to talk about? I mean, perhaps I did. But not so openly. My plan was to tiptoe around, test the waters, then retreat back into my shell. I wonder if it actually picked up on like, like if it remembered my choices and actually, so, that's weird. I, 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 I don't know if to like sort of go over like some of, some of the uh, missions and stuff to like see if it turns out differently. Um, don't see a problem here. I'm sorry. I'm not very good at this. Speaking of my feelings and so forth. And I would not want to cut this up. So far, so good, champ. Because I've kept my mouth shut up to now. <laughs> the thing is, I usually act before I think. Uh-huh. Noticed. I know. But I also need impulses to act upon. When I do something spontaneously, I feel I'm being honest. Yet with you, I prefer to play it safe. Why is it any different with me? Found something good. Because I truly care this time. Yet I fear I'll do or say something foolish and be left alone in the desert. I would rather keep you close. If only as a friend. Try following the impulse next time. Okay. Well, in any case, you've been warned. All right. Let's rejoin the others. Also, I think I think like she's probably like the only romance option as well. Like you have to have certain convoy. Got eyes and ears on it. Yes, Carol checks their communication channels from time to time. Oh yeah, I want to do this differently, don't I? So, hold on. Uh... We'll see how that turns out though. Probably not in this video. <laughs> Since I've got a feeling this mission Everything might be is a little bit long. For now. Oh, I thought that was one of them tarots then. Look, it's like flashing for some reason. Is it a tarot? No, it's not. Oh. Too long. I'm already at what we are an hour and a half. My last video was long as well. <laughs> Ooh, uh, for crying out loud! I don't care what's going on between you two. I'm just asking. Can't give me a straight answer. When you see her, tell her I'm looking for her. Yeah, okay. Everything's under control. The convoy is already <coughs> heading our way. Do I get to sit? You worried about Saul? They 
quite some time left till dusk. Hmm. The car could use another one somewhere. What? Oh. The stars have emerged. We've but a few hours till dawn. I don't, yeah, I don't get why his sleeves are rolled up. Veins in his arms. First person ever to stand up to Saul. Ah, save your breath. I don't need to be consoled. Ah, was it someone I know? I'm sure. Wait, hold on. Are his sleeves rolled? No, they're not. Why are his sleeves always rolled up? What boots we got? Ooh, 43 armor. Same boots, but I'll do. No. Scorpion, you came home from the war, head full of new ideas and a host of new contacts. He tried to get Saul to lead us in joining Snake Nation. <coughs> Stronger, he said. I don't think he peeped a word of it to me. What did Saul do? Saul dressed the guy down head to toe for messing with the family. Hell, he didn't send him on any jobs for a year. <laughs> Gee, really consoling. Thanks. You said yourself, you didn't need any. You don't talk about the war much. What's there to say? They just packed you into a panzer down in Mexico and said full speed ahead, soldier. <laughs> and it was weeks talking either to yourself or the onboard AI. Drinking iodide like water because your Geiger wouldn't shut up. Mm-hmm. I'm sprouting a rash on my ass just thinking about sitting in that boiling hot coffin. Uh-huh. But you all can't wait to pack your asses into the basilisk, huh? <laughs> That's different. Completely different. You'll see once you're on board. Ought to raise a glass to Scorpion. <coughs> and a Jack. The Scorpion. She remembered. And to Jackie. I'm gonna try and get some sleep. Okay. It'll be quite some time before the convoy comes through. Growing kind of cold out here. <laughs> Not true, but this is nice. Catch some shed eye with me. I'll just lie here a while, by your side, gazing at the stars. Is that another area of your expertise? Got maps of the heavens in your library too? Of course. That's the Big Dipper. And do you see the small flickering star to the right? What? Where? Uh, yeah. North Star. You do? Oh dear. That means there's a major leak. Good night, B. We... Let's do the mission. Or I could save it here. Okay, here they come. Oh. No, straight to the mission. Is everyone ready? Let's ride, V. Oh, this is gonna be epic. You can tell. It's gotta be. Get her 
up to speed. Nice. Oh, this is going to be so sick. Stand there. Jesus Christ. Nice. Oops. Oh wait. <laughs> That's one of my guys. What the heck am I doing? Not too much funnier. Is that the last guy? Nice dude. Up, look sharp. Yeah. Jesus, come on. Done. I think. Is there more? What's that? Let's loot all this shit here. Enemies. Mitch, Bob, go! All is planned, boss. All right, the train's leaving. You'd better move. All right, so. Oh, we're getting back in the vehicle. Okay, let's go. <coughs> Ready to roll. Escort the trucks to the Nomad Camp. Oh, Saul is not going to be happy. <laughs> oh, he's not going to be happy. Fuck! It worked! <laughs> of course it did! Just as I said it would! Something's going to go wrong here. How's it going there, V? Did you have fun? Sure did. Just be happy you won't be around to put the hunk of junk together. <laughs> the real fun is just starting for Mitch and Teddy. I think that's looking insane. See, it says escort, but. I've got a feeling it's probably literally just driving this thing. Okay, I just lost the Militech channel. The suits finally realized someone was listening and changed the codes. Ah. Uh, Perfect timing if you ask me. So that was real then? Or are they still just making it look like. Oh, what's going on? Some of them seem right. I can talk to him if you want. 
No, thank you. I'll take care of this myself. Where is he? Oh, it's this way. Oh, he's here. Fuck you! Fuck! Pan Am! So it begins. Oh, great. <laughs> What's the meaning of this? Exactly what you see. The Basilisk. All I see is two trucks with giant Militech logos on them. Fuck, Pan Am! You can see them from miles away! You think we don't have problems enough on our hands? The Raffins could rear their heads at any moment. And now we have Militech to worry about, too. Stop it! Fuck! Just shut up already! Do you want to serve corporations forever? Fine! Go right ahead! In that case, we'll leave the Basilisk as a souvenir of what this family used to be. Or you know what? Maybe next time we're attacked, we'll be able to fight back! As soon as I'm done with Biotechnica, we call a family meeting to discuss this. Discuss you. Until that time, I want these trucks out of my sight. And the Basilisk? Can we put it together? Do what you want. Just get out of my sight. <laughs> Bob, Shit. Mitch, you two take the trucks around back. We need to unload. Sure, but then what do we do with them? Oh, I've got an idea. <laughs> you got quite a pair of lungs there. Thanks. I believe the last time I pulled something like that, I was 10 years old. <laughs> Seem to still be in fine working order. Everything okay? Yes, of course. <laughs> Though the great train robbery bit of this was much more enjoyable. You need me again, all you gotta do is call. V. I'm sure I will. So you better expect that call. Be waiting. Take care. Alright, that's it. Mission done. I think that was. Ah, shit! <laughs> Reddit malfunction detected. Oof. It gets worse every time. It's definitely, um. Johnny's definitely getting worse. Like he's definitely taking over more. Right, but anyway, um, I think we'll save it there. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, kind of enjoyed that one. Long video, <laughs> one hour and 43, just like my last one. Oh my gosh. But yeah, if you enjoyed that video, give it a like. Feel free to drop a comment down below. And if you want to see more of my videos, just give me a sub. Just make sure you actually ding the bell so you actually get notified when I do upload more content. And that's it. That's all I signed out. Cheers.